Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can create some FAR files and most importantly some personalized FAR files that uh, contain some data but uh, that is only usable after user provides the correct password. So uh, for creating the FAR files, I'm going to use uh, the Box project which is available from box-project.org and it's really very easy to create FAR files using the Box but I'll come to the point later. So uh, let's create it. I, what I've done is just I create a blank folder and uh, I've created a blank project here for our tutorial. So here for the FAR files create two directory. For now just create one directory. It's a bin and inside this bin directory uh, let's write our main script main.php. This file will run whenever you are executing the FAR file. So uh, this is going to be a shell script and make sure that you write the correct shipping line so uh, most people many people actually uh, write the shipping line like uh, this but that is wrong and you should not do it in this way you should write shipping line in this way because uh, it assumes that user has PHP installed in his machine in this folder which might not be correct all the time so uh, the correct way of writing shipping line for the PHP shell scripts is uh, this okay right so let's start now what we're going to do is we are going to collect users password from there from user okay so just uh, echo a prompt and we let's collect the users password but for that just make sure that whatever user type as a password doesn't display in the screen so for that you write this and Okay, now whatever user types on the screen after prompt, it will not be displayed on the screen. Password equal to uh, trim, then if gets. Okay, so we have user's password. Now we are going to validate it. But for before that, let's create another directory in our project which uh, will contain the personalized data. So uh, let's create another data file and inside the data file, create data.php okay for now just just blank okay oh, yeah, you don't need it okay now uh, let's include this file from our uh, main script so just record once make sure that you start with the uh, dear constant because you need the absolute path whenever you are including any file instead of for so <coughs> data and uh, data of PHP now our data of PHP is included in the current scope so uh, but we don't have the encrypted information yet so let's create some encrypted information for net for encryption and decryption I have a uh, broad two functions two beautiful functions from Josh Hartman's blog those can uh, encrypt a block of text using the Rindle algorithm. Let's uh, do that. Let's see it. Just uh, this is a temporary file just to create the encrypted data, and that is not very important to include in the. We're not going to include it in the current project. Okay. Just uh, I'm creating some encrypted data. So let's see. Let's say our data is an array which contains some sensitive information from one some info and another array item called more info and we are going to decrypt it we're going to uh, decrypt it sorry so uh, at this point we are going to encrypt this data let's uh, I brought, as I told, I have brought two functions, MC encrypt and MC decrypt from Josh Hartman blog. <coughs> Let's use those functions. Encrypted data equal to MC encrypt and uh, pass the array. And uh, just for now, let's assume that our, our password is uh, my awesome password, okay? Just echo this encrypted data. Machine. So uh, just run it. 
So here is our encrypted data, and we are going to uh, we are going to store it inside the data file we created earlier. Okay. So here, <coughs> let's come back to this data file and uh, save it here. Okay. And now let's delete this encrypted. Oh no no! Oh, we need this decrypt function later in our main script. Now let's delete the file, we don't need it, and uh, come back to our manuscript. Now, at this point, we have user's password. So what we're going to do is uh, just validate whether user provided us the correct password or not. So let's try to decrypt MC, decrypt, and uh, we have already we already have the data we included uh, this data file remember so uh, and we have collected the password from user so now we check if is array this then correct password otherwise Now uh, let's try this file uh, in the shell. So uh, just to check whether it works or not. Main. Okay, cool. Now it's asking for the password. And uh, remember that we used the password is my awesome password. Let's uh, type some wrong password. One, two, three. Okay, it's wrong. That's correct. So now type the correct password. And it's correct password okay so now we are going to package it as a far and for that we need to create a manifest file here uh, named box dot JSON <coughs> here we're going to uh, create these instructions like uh, where are the data file data dot PHP then main file is uh, bin dot bin slash main dot php and uh, output name protected dot far and uh, let's give it an instruction that it should use its own stub because we're not going to write the stub file okay so we are done almost done now just uh, let's package it so what we're going to do is uh, we just give the command box build. Sorry, we're in the bin file. Now just we're in the root and uh, box. Okay. So here you see that there is the protected for. Let's run it. Okay. Just uh, give it some uh, executable and let's run it. asked for the password and let's type wrong password shows the wrong password and give it the correct password my awesome password gives you the correct password okay so this is how you can uh, encapsulate some sensitive information inside the for because I and make it uh, personalized only for the user and using the for stream wrapper you can always update this content later so it's basically very easy and I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.